find the general bilinear transformation which transformed the unit circular disk mod z less than equal to 1 onto unit circular disk mod w less than equal to 1. For that, let's take our original transformation that is w equal to az plus b over cz plus d with an important condition that ad minus bc should not be equal to 0. So let this be the required transformation. Please mark this as 1. Now the inverse points with respect to mod w equal to 1 are yes, 0 and infinity. And the corresponding inverse points with respect to mod z equal to 1 are all right. When w is equal to 0 for the point z equal to minus b over a. And when the point w is equal to infinity for the value of z to be as negative d over c. So these are the two inverse points with respect to the circle mod z equal to 1. So writing negative b over a as alpha and negative d over c as all right please look at the remark at the base that the inverse point of z is 1 over z bar so if i have taken alpha to be minus b over a then its inverse point is 1 over alpha bar which is taken to be as minus d over c so let's put these values back into the equation 1 but for that first we need to take common a from the numerator and c from the denominator. So taking a common from the numerator we get w equal to a into z plus b over a divided by c into z plus d over c. So this is equal to a over c into okay. What is b over a? It is negative alpha and d over c is negative 1 over alpha bar. So it is negative alpha over z minus 1 over alpha bar. Taking the LCM, we get a into alpha bar over c into z minus alpha over z alpha bar minus 1. Please mark this as 2. To find the value of a over c now, we use the fact that any point on mod z equal to 1 must correspond to a point mod w equal to 1. So if I take any point on the circle mod z equal to 1, that must correspond to the point on the circle mod w equal to 1, not inside the circle, on the circle, right? So the points on the circle are marked as the green colored region. And the points on the circle mod w equal to 1 are marked as orange colored region. So if I take the points on the circle mod z equal to 1 as let me consider 1 and this is suppose minus 1. So if I consider this point 1 then it must correspond to the point on the circle mod w equal to 1. So in particular let z is equal to 1. So this must gives mod w equal to 1. So from 2 for mod w equal to 1, we get mod of a alpha bar over c into z minus alpha over z alpha bar minus 1 equal to 1. And this implies for z equal to 1, just putting z equal to 1 over here, I get mod of a over c alpha bar into mod of 1 minus alpha over alpha bar minus 1 mod. So this is equal to 1. And because the mod of 1 minus alpha is equal to the mod of alpha bar minus 1, so these two will go. And this will give us mod of a over c alpha bar is equal to 1. So for the mod a over c alpha bar equal to 1, we may write a alpha bar over c as e the power iota lambda where lambda is real. So hence we write a alpha bar over c as e the power iota lambda where lambda is real. So now the transformation becomes yes putting the value of a over c lambda bar as e the power iota lambda. So the transformation becomes 
e the power iota lambda into z minus alpha over z alpha bar minus 1. Please mark this as 3. So this is all about the points on the circle. And now let's consider the points inside the circle. For that, if you notice in the third transformation that if I take z equal to alpha over here, what I get, I get w equal to 0. And w equal to 0 means the point at the center of mod w equal to 1 that is the interior point the point inside the circle right since z equal to alpha gives w equal to 0 so which means if z equal to alpha is giving w equal to 0 which means alpha must lying inside the circle mod z equal to 1 or alpha must be an interior point of the circle because the points on the unit circle mod z equal to 1 are corresponding to the points on the unit circle mod w equal to 1. So if I get one point w equal to 0 at the center of the unit circle mod w equal to 1, which means if I am getting this point for z equal to alpha, that is that point z equal to alpha is lying interior of the unit circle mod z equal to 1. It must lie in the interior of mod z equal to 1. So, alpha must be an interior point of the circle. That is, if I take z equal to alpha, so this mod alpha should be strictly less than 1. Right? Because it is the interior point. So, this mod alpha should be less than 1. So, with this condition, the transformation that is marked as 3 is the desired transformation which transforms the unit circular disk mod z less than equal to 1 onto the unit circular disk mod w less than equal to 1. w equal to e the power iota lambda into z minus alpha over z alpha bar minus 1 with the condition that mod alpha is strictly less than 1 is the desired transformation that transforms unit circular disk mod z less than equal to 1 onto unit circular disk mod w less than equal to 1. Now for the verification, for if mod z equal to 1, which implies I can write mod z as z z bar is equal to 1. So from 3, I get mod w is equal to then from 3, if I take the mod for w, so this is equal to mod of e the power iota lambda into mod of z minus alpha over alpha bar z minus 1. So this is equal to, so this is equal to, I know that mod of e the power iota lambda is always 1. So this is mod of z minus alpha over alpha bar z minus writing 1 as z z bar. So mod of w is equal to taking uh, z common from this denominator 1 over mod z into mod of z minus alpha over alpha bar minus z bar which is equal to yes because mod of z minus alpha is equal to mod of alpha bar minus z bar so this will go and for mod z equal to 1 I can write this as 1 over 1 so that is equal to 1. So finally, I got mod w is equal to 1, right? So it is very easy to verify that this transformation w equal to e the power iota lambda z minus alpha over alpha bar z minus 1. This maps mod z less than equal to 1 onto mod w less than equal to 1, right? For mod z equal to 1, I get mod w equal to 1 finally, right? So this is verified. Now the interior part. To examine the correspondence between the interiors and exteriors of the circles mod z equal to 1 and mod w equal to 1. So putting the value of w as e the power iota lambda into z minus alpha over z alpha bar minus 1 into putting the value of w bar as z bar minus alpha bar over z bar alpha minus 1 and this is e the power negative iota lambda and then minus 1. So multiplying these two we get 1 and then multiplying these two we get 
z z bar minus z alpha bar minus alpha z bar plus alpha alpha bar divided by z z bar alpha alpha bar minus z alpha bar minus z bar alpha plus 1 minus 1. Simplifying this further, we get the factors in the numerator as z z bar minus 1 into 1 minus alpha alpha bar divided by mod of alpha bar z minus 1 whole square. Right? So I can write in place of z z bar as mod z square. Yes, zz bar is equal to mod z square and alpha alpha bar is equal to mod alpha square. So writing this in the next step. So this is equal to mod z square minus 1 into 1 minus mod alpha square divided by mod of alpha bar z minus 1 whole square. Please mark this as 4. Now 4 shows that the transformation 3, 3 transformation is this one, w equal to e the power i to lambda z minus alpha over z alpha bar minus 1. This transformation will map mod z strictly less than 1 on mod w strictly less than 1 or on mod w strictly greater than 1. Accordingly, as mod alpha is less than 1 or mod alpha is greater than 1. See, in this transformation 4, if I am having mod z strictly less than 1, for mod alpha strictly less than 1, what I get? This is your mod w minus 1. Right? Okay. So, for mod z less than 1, which means this first factor is negative, With mod alpha strictly less than 1, this factor is positive, which means this will become less than 0 negative, which means mod w is strictly less than 1. That is we get here. That is what we get here. Yes. Okay. For mod z strictly less than 1 and mod alpha strictly greater than 1, for mod z strictly less than 1, this factor is negative. For mod alpha strictly greater than 1, this factor is negative. So mod w minus 1 becomes negative, negative is positive. So this is positive, which means mod w is strictly greater than 1. This is what we get here. Yes, fine, okay, all right. So it is now shown that this fourth equation shows that this transformation third will map the interior of the circle in the z plane on interior of the circle in the w plane or exterior of the circle in the w plane. Accordingly, mod alpha less than 1 or mod alpha greater than 1. Thus, w is equal to e the power iota lambda z minus alpha over z alpha bar minus 1 with the condition mod alpha strictly less than 1 maps mod z less than equal to 1 on to mod w less than equal to 1. Alright, so in the first part we have discussed that the points on the circles are corresponding to the points on the circles in the w plane. Yes, and then we have discussed that and because this zero is lying inside the circle, which means it must correspond to the point alpha inside this circle, right? So the points on the circles will be transformed to the points on the circle in the W plane. And the center of the circle in the W plane is corresponding to the point z equal to alpha, which must lie inside the circle mod z equal to 1 over here. Yes, and then we have also verified these two results that the transformation e the power iota lambda z minus alpha over alpha bar z minus 1 maps the unit circle mod z less than equal to 1 onto unit circle mod w less than equal to 1 provided mod alpha should be less than 1. 
So we have verified all these results, right? And now we are going to discuss the particular cases, only two particular cases. So in particular, suppose if z equal to 0 corresponds to the w equal to 0, then what condition we get? That we are discussing over here. So if z equal to 0 corresponds to w equal to 0, then putting z equal to 0 and w equal to 0 over here, we get 0 equal to e the power eta lambda into 0 minus alpha over 0 minus 1. So cancelling this negative sign, we get alpha e the power eta lambda is equal to 0, which implies because e the power eta lambda cannot be 0, so this implies alpha is equal to 0, right? So in this case, this transformation becomes w equal to just put alpha equal to 0 for this. So this transformation becomes w equal to e the power eta lambda into z over minus 1. That is, the transformation becomes w equal to negative z e the power eta lambda. And for this transformation, if I put derivative of w with respect to z equal to 1 at z equal to 0, then what I get for the transformation, just finding the derivative of w with respect to z, I get this to be as minus e the power eta lambda. And putting this equal to 1 for this particular case, then we get e the power eta lambda equal to minus 1. So this transformation further reduces to w equal to minus z into minus 1 that is equal to z which is the identity transformation so the transformation becomes an identity transformation for dw over dz equal to 1 at z equal to 0 these are just the cases for which we are getting the another results right okay thank you